you have to understand the teabagger mindset. They have this nostalgia for this America that they think was stolen from this, that used to be, that was better. It's really the 1950s, okay? That's what they think was Shangri-La. And you know what they never get is that it's kind of insulting to a lot of Americans to pine for this era because it wasn't that good for a lot of people. It was good if you were a white man. It wasn't that good if you were Mexican or black or Jewish or disabled or gay or a woman. I mean, you know that... <laughs> You know that in the 1950s, the big sitcom was The Honeymooners, right? And every week, Ralph Cramden, at some point in the show, when Alice got under his skin, would say, To the moon, Alice! <laughs> That's right. America's biggest sitcom star would basically say, You stupid cunt, if you continue to annoy me, I'm going to punch you in the face. I'm going to ball up my fist and punch you in the fucking face until you hit another planet. And America was completely cool with this. They were like, well, he is the husband. I mean, if she's annoying him, he has every right to punch her in the face. It's hard to imagine Ray Romano doing that, you know. <laughs> So, you know, to be pining for this era, and that's what it always is, the cry from Goober Nation is <laughs> always about, we want our country back! You know, like it went anywhere, and, and Obama's taken away our freedoms. What, what freedoms exactly has he taken away? I think just the freedom to live under a white president. I think that's the only freedom we've actually seen.